Good afternoon. A 26-year-old man is pleading for help, claiming that he was swindled out of his cash and home. Philip Martel is blind and wheelchair bound. He's been staying at the Lethbridge Emergency Shelter since late October, but says it's no place for someone who requires around the clock care. Terry Vote reports. I'm asking for help from anybody right now. Blind and wheelchair bound, 26 year old Philip Martel says he jumped on a bus and traveled to Lethbridge after a woman he met on a telephone chat line offered to provide a room and 24 hour care. We agreed on $500 rent. She said, yeah, I'll take care of you, I'll help you get on your feet. I was with her for two weeks, then she kicked me out and took all my money and closed my bank account. Police are investigating, but right now that's little consolation for Martel. Broken on the street, he's been staying at the Lethbridge Emergency Shelter and Resource Centre. Because he moved from British Columbia, he doesn't yet have an Alberta health care card. So no matter where he turns, he seems to be running into obstacles. You got to talk to Alberta Health Services, talk to other people, you know. I can't even get out and go anywhere. I'm stuck in a shelter. Martel isn't complaining about the staff or management. He says they've been supportive. And he's grateful to have a roof, since most shelters won't accept people with special needs. At the same time, Martel says he needs personal care and help with everyday tasks like getting dressed and cutting his food. He says the shelter isn't the place for a blind person in a wheelchair. It sucks. I don't, it, you know, it's scary being here in the shelter. This isn't the right place for me. They're not equipped to take care of me. They can only do so much here. Shelter officials say there are privacy issues that prevent them from talking specifically about this case, but they want to assure us that there are several agencies and a number of people working on Philip's behalf to make sure he gets the support and care he needs. Terry Vote, CTV News, Lethbridge. Martel says he is receiving some income support and was expecting a check today, but he says he may not be able to cash it because his bank account has been closed.